This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Now, another thing real quick, a lot of people here know I like to throw things on the smoker, do a lot of low and slow cooking. Yeah. Do you have any good recipes you like to do on that? You know what? I've uh, learned that uh, my salmon tastes better on the grill. Okay. And I uh, sometimes use the cedar planks. Yes, that's for, I, just that's did for, that. I just did that this week. Uh, that's kind of idiot proof for me. Uh, and I use the all purpose seasoning on to season the uh salmon for example real simple okay. one seasoning mm -hmm. and 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 load her up there and then at the, about a minute or no maybe two minutes before i'm going to plate it i drizzle uh our uh mustard okay on it it's, fa it's jalapeno honey mustard it's mm -hmm. fabulous on, on seafood so try the and it's good on grilled shrimp okay. it's just, it gives a little bit of personality so uh but sa uh, salmon has been my, I love salmon. I had some today for lunch. So, uh, I, I love the salmon, just living here in Florida. It's fresh. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. So I, you might try that, you know, here's what I found out on anything I put on the grill to grill it or to smoke it. The longer I the opportunity I have to let it, uh, marinate. So shall we say mm -hmm. set in the refrigerator overnight, if nothing else, it is the seasoning. Uh, or if you got some other marinade you want, you like to use, the longer you can let it mar your meat, your products do that, the better off you are. Uh, it works every time. It's all, it, may, all, it upgrades it. If you try to season it and then throw it and get out of the refrigerator, wash it off real good, season it and then throw it in a grill, you're kind of cheating yourself a little bit. It's still good, but it'd be better if you did it the night right. before. I actually took some of your seasoning and, um, I used it in a coffee pot and made it into a liquid to inject a pulled pork one time. Wow. And Damn that man. came out amazing. Wow. Good for you. That's great. So, I, I, I love this evening. You all the time. You turn on pretty much everything. I appreciate it. We, we appreciate it in our little so, group. But thank you for your part. Okay, buddy. Thanks for coming in and joining much us. Father, you, you bet. All right. Thank you for that, Mike Whitaker. JR, we have some other conversations going on now. We're kind of getting in the holiday spirit. Darren wanted to know, are you a turkey guy or a ham guy when it comes to the holiday? Turkey. Spirit? Turkey. Mm. Not a I like, fan. I, 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 nor did I say anywhere in that rendition, I didn't like ham. Okay, fine. Let's not be an idiot here. <laughs> I like I'm not, ham. I'm and not I, into poultry. And I like, well, that's your deal. I like turkey. I like dark meat. Mm. Yeah, okay. legs, thighs. You know, well, that's settled. No, no more dark guess. meat things. Uh, and so, yeah, I like turkey. I like cornbread dressing, not the uh, cowboy. And I used to go to New Orleans on Thanksgiving for the Superdome every frigging year. We'd stay at the same hotel, eat the same meals because he liked them because the croissants were buttery and flaky. Uh -huh. Seriously. So we, the buttery flaky croissants got us back for our big Thanksgiving meal and they had, uh, what, what, oyster dressing. I, I can't do it. I <laughs> thought it was cornbread dressing. It took a big old bite and almost hurled. Uh. You don't want to hurl with cowboys sitting around. So, uh, I, uh, I, but I like cornbread dressing. If I had Turkey and dressing and and gravy and mashed potatoes and something green. I'm good. I don't right. know. That sounds good cool. enough. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.